22nd. Oh boy, means we're steaming through the month of July already. And July 22nd of the church's calendar is a rather special day. It's the Feast of St. Mary Magdalene, which we happen to have a parish in our diocese under that patroness. It's in Altamont Springs, a wonderful, fantastic parish, I might say it. And the Gospel is from Gospel John, chapter 20. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter, to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, They had taken the Lord from the tomb, and we do not know where they have put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels and the white, and the white sitting there, one at the head, one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they have laid him. When she said that she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Woman, who are you lo whom, whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him, Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I'm going to my Father and your Father, my God and your God. Mary Madeline went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he told her. It's a great feast of Mary Magdalene. This whole it's kind of strange is in the middle of July, we're sort of celebrating the Easter gospel reading. And Mary Madeline, even here at the gospel, doesn't have a clear understanding of who Jesus is. In fact, she really wants to see him as, as he was before he, for his passion and death. So she calls him Roboni, which means teacher. He's more than a teacher, but in a sense of previous knowledge. And then she clings to him. As if somehow she can keep Jesus, you know, that relationship that, you know, him walking on, him on earth is, well, as if he can prolong and hold on to it, but he can't. He can you know, let go because I'm going, you know, to my father and your father. What's great about Mary Madeline, you know, supposedly had great sins were forgiven, and she loved much. She was the one at the foot of the cross who stayed with Jesus, right? Did not abandon him, and most amazingly so, her great love for him drove her to go to the tomb. Curious what she thought she would find there. I mean, her body was in the tomb and the stone was right, rolled across it, but she had, to be, she had to go and be by her Lord and Savior, the great love. And then she was the first person to, who to know about the, the resurrection, which first the good news was told to her, and she was the first one to spread the good news. And so she's called the Apostle to the Apostles. Some people have to defend the uh, idea of Jesus' resurrection, that is not just a myth or a lie, is that if the early church wanted to be, make it more credible, you wouldn't have women being the witnesses because they were not allowed to give witness in court. So that's the last kind of person you want, you want to give witness to this fantastic event because unfortunately people didn't believe women. So they would have avoided that, that part of the story. But this is what happened, this is true. So Mary, who I had love. And um, we may fear God, we may obey God, we may be in awe of God, but do we love him? I mean, we truly love him. To, drive, to be driven by love, to live for him, to make sacrifice for him. And that's what Mary Madeline represents for us. Hmm? Do I love him? Do I love Jesus? Do I want to see Jesus? Just this morning in prayer, I was thinking, if I go to heaven, I want to put my, put my arms around Jesus, lay around his, his legs and just... Thank him for his kindness, his mercy, and his forgiveness. To experience God's mercy, God's love is a great motivator, a great way to keep us connected.